When the busyness hits, you feel on top of the world. Your ego is getting fed, you feel confident, you're working, you are doing creative things, you're posting to social media. It's a constant buzz of these like dopamine hits. But at a certain point, you have to have a come down and you have to step back from that feeling. So today I wanna to talk a little bit about my recent experiences in the past month or so of being extremely busy and traveling a ton and uh, hopefully share with you guys some feelings that I've had, some vulnerabilities, some insecurities, and just some things that I have thought to myself pretty recently that I know these feelings aren't very singular to me. I know a ton of people that feel these. I know that it is a common thing amongst creatives or freelancers and business people as well. So my goal with this video is hopefully just to open your mind a little and share a new perspective on work and life and uh, yeah, share my experiences as well. So over the past month or so, I've been very fortunate to be as busy as I have been working on a lot of different projects and also being able to attend the I Think I'm Sick screenings all across the country. Uh, I wasn't planning on going to a lot of them, but fortunately my schedule allowed me to kind of travel and do a couple of these uh, screenings along with some jobs that I was doing simultaneously. Um, and before we dive into the topic of this video, I just want to preface and talk about the I Think I'm Sick screenings real quick. Uh, firstly, I am just like so grateful to have been able to be a part of this project. First of all, like I know I've talked about it before in other videos, but my gratitude for that has just been uh, everlasting and it's truly one of the best experiences that I've had as a filmmaker and uh, that had a continuation feeling going to these screenings. Uh, being able to see a lot of you guys, a lot of Danny subscribers, even though a lot of you guys are jointly subscri you subscribe to him, me. It's just a really amazing opportunity to see this YouTube community in person, see a lot of the people around the country, and be able to see what YouTube can do for independent filmmakers. Because what Danny was able to accomplish with this feature film, with these screenings, with the support of his YouTube channel is truly uh, I think a slightly revolutionary type of um, way of making a film and that's only possible by the support and love from you guys and seeing the support that Danny got was truly amazing and opened my eyes to what the possibility of YouTube could be. For those that are watching that were there, it was great meeting you and um, yeah, so that's all I got to say about the screenings. It was truly a amazing, amazing experience. So going back to today's topic, the busyness of this past month or so made me feel really good. It made me feel fulfilled uh, creatively, financially. I feel like I was progressing in my career a lot. I was making great connections, but there was a certain point where I kind of had to sit back and ask myself like, am I letting this get to my head? Who am I right now? In times of busyness and confidence and feeling good and like you feel like you're on top of the world your ego is getting fed like who am I right now because there's points where you're you may feel like oh I'm above this or uh, I might be too good for this or I'm I'm actually really good um, at what I'm doing because I'm getting hired this much I'm doing all this and you know there's a certain level of confidence that you have to have in order to actually succeed and there's nothing wrong with that at all, but I just allowed myself to kind of pick apart my thoughts and see if what I was thinking was like truly valid to who I am and like what my values are, or if I was just getting fed by my ego and um, being motivated by the, the confidence that I was feeling for the past month of because of how much I was quote unquote wanted as a DP, for example. At times, truthfully, I do feel like I'm on top of the world. I feel like I am on top of my game. I feel like I am the best that I've ever been. And that may be true that my skills and the work I'm doing has been some of the best that I've done in the past, but obviously that makes sense in a way. But truthfully, I think it's just a matter of recognizing who I am in the grand scope of things. For me, looking at this point of view, it's almost like having blinders on. And when you have these blinders on, it's so easy to see what's right in front of you. And in these moments when you're so busy and you're working and feeling good, that's all you see right in front of you is that job you're on, the next job, the, the thing that you're doing after that, and it's so easy to feel like you're on top of the world and you're making so much progression because that's all that's right in front of you and you're just moving forward in that direction. And realizing that when you take these blinders off, the world is so much 
bigger, it's more complicated, it's endless. It recenters your being, it recenters your heart. It it not only humbles you, but I truthfully think for me it relieves a lot of stress and anxiety. When you see the world as it is and see the vastness of it, see the complication, is that a word? How complicated it is and what life really has to offer. For me, it relieves a bit of stress, it relieves a bit of fear and anxiety because when I have these blinders on and I am just so focused on whatever's right in front of me, I'm always just worried about, I'm doing this job now, when am I gonna do the next one? How about the next one after that? What about this one? What if I don't get hired again? Like, I feel like it's so narrow-minded that I don't focus on anything else in life. And when I open my mind up and I allow myself to kind of enjoy life other than work, it, it makes me realize that there's just so much more to it than when is the next job or, oh, I'm killing the game right now type of feeling. There's just so much more to life than that. And I don't want to give the wrong impression that, you know, thinking about your work right now and feeling good about it is wrong or thinking about the next job is wrong because it's not wrong at all. And I don't want anyone to feel as though uh, they should feel ashamed for thinking these ways because I think about them all the time and it's important to think about these things. But I I think the, the idea that I'm trying to express is that it shouldn't be your main focus. For a lot of us that are in our younger stages of our career where we have to work so hard, there's so many cinematographers out there, so many filmmakers out there. It's, if you're not working, and people like Gary Vee out there and all these other people, it's like, if you're not working 24 hours a day, what are you doing type of thing? And obviously there are some people that want to do that. And uh, it's a weird mentality to have. And I feel like I've had that mentality. I feel like I had I feel like I have that mentality sometimes. And I realize that when I do think about my life in that scenario, like when I'm, oh, I need to work, 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 I feel way more stressed out about my life. I feel way more anxious because that's the only thing I'm thinking about. And when it doesn't happen, for example, that's when the anxiety sits in really heavily because I'm only so focused on that one thing. So taking it back to the example of taking your blinders off and seeing how vast the world is, for me, it provides a level of calmness and patience as well. For me to expect at 20, 25 now, it was my birthday a couple days ago, to expect the work that I want to be doing and seeing on Netflix and you know Instagram, you know, there's a level of objectiveness I feel as though you have to look at. And I know that I'm at a point where I'm pretty good at what I do, but I know that there's so much more to learn, so much more to grow within, so much more to experience in my own life. 80% of the work that I do is, you know, not really creatively fulfilling projects like corporate stuff, interviews, some docs of small commercials, things that pay really well. And sometimes they are creative, but majority of the time, they're not, they're not something that I'm like, want to show my mom for example or not something i'm super proud of and i think that's an important point because when you are busy in those types of projects and you're busy like that there could be a point where you get so comfortable with the steadiness of that work and so comfortable with the type of work that it is that you kind of become complacent with where you are in life and where you are in your career and you're feeling good you're making money you're busy you're able to you know and that's okay and that's the other thing I want to say is too, is like, if that's the type of work that you want to be doing, I encourage you to find that passion and go do that. I want more in my life. I want to be shooting creatively uh, higher projects. I want to be shooting things with uh, amazing and talented people. And um, I know that I'm not there yet. And I know that I have been blessed and fortunate to actually be able to shoot a lot of these cool projects, like the feature and some awesome commercials and documentaries. but. Like I said, 80% of the work that I do is not fun. And that's things that you don't really hear on YouTube a lot is people talking about the stuff they don't like to do. It's always like, here's this amazing project that I did. Well, did I tell you that I also did, you know, 20 other crappy projects before I was able to do this really cool one? Um, and that's really important to hear as well. And hopefully you guys can find comfort in knowing that where I am in my life is still 
you know, nowhere near where I want to be, but that's only due to the fact that I can open up my mind and my view to see the world and see how amazing things, see what amazing things people are doing and creating and seeing where they are in their career and recognizing that where I am is where I'm supposed to be. And as long as I understand that there's room to grow and uh, I, I, I remain humble and grateful in the fact of the things that I am able to do at this point, um, I think will allow me to grow more in the future and be patient with where I am and where I'm going in my life. And it's not just, you know, DP work. It's how can I, how can I not be complacent in the relationships that I have? How can I be a better fiance or husband in the future? How can I be a, a better son, a friend? How can I be a better YouTuber to you guys? How can I be a better mentor to people? How can I be a better student? And I think that's, uh, I think the well, like the overall thought process here is just opening up your mind to the world and recognizing that you will always be a student in whatever you are and where you are in life. Be a student of being a son, being a student of being a YouTuber, being a student of being a fiance or a husband or boyfriend. Always be willing to learn and not settle with what you know and be complacent with that's all you need to know. And this is the benefit of taking these blinders off because when you do have the blinders on, you forget about a lot of the important things in life. You forget about your family, you forget about your friends, you forget about your health, you forget about, you know, taking time for yourself. And yes, I'm very guilty of this. And I think that's what sparked the creation of this video was when I'm, when I'm busy and I'm working and doing all of these things, I'm so focused on what I need to do. And that's totally okay. You need to be focused, but I sometimes forget to call my mom. Like there was times where I don't go like four or five days without calling her. Or, uh, there's times where I forget to call my fiance or things like that, where I, I was able to see certain people that I work with who are dads, who are husbands, and they have a different view on life or different view on work life balance than I do because truthfully I'm still so young and I'm growing and I'm maturing but a lot of the people I work with are older and you know I'm at a hotel with all the crew and um, I see first thing in the morning they're on FaceTime with their kids or they're calling their husbands or wives and on lunch they're calling their kids and same thing and for me that just it made me recognize that, you know, you don't have to be so focused on work and what you're doing in the moment to forget about the important people and things in your life because there's gonna be a point where you forget about them so much that they don't, they don't even wanna be bothered by you anymore because they feel forgotten or they feel abandoned. And I'm only where I am today because of the support of my family, my friends, my fiance. So, I recognize that I do need to do a better job of uh, focusing on more of the important things in life other than just work because I can't magically wish for this job to come up. It'll come up when it comes up. The only thing I can do is focus on my life, focus on nurturing these relationships I have in my life, continue to do great work, continue to practice, hone my skills, be the best creative I can, but not keep the blinders on and that only be my focus for my life is work. So continue to work hard, be ambitious, have goals. Be sure to look around, see what the world has to offer and be present with those right in front of you right now. Because I can guarantee in a couple years from now, looking back on today, you're gonna wish that you were more present with the people in front of you, with the, with the experiences that you're experiencing now. You're gonna wish that you were more present. So take this opportunity now to uh, reflect on your life and reflect on how you see life and see if there's a way that you can be more present with the people around you and with yourself. And I know this is an easy, you know, task. I'm, you know, not great at it. I'm trying, I'm getting better at it, but uh, I think it's important to just recognize when you are not present and your blinders are on and being able to take those off and then uh, be present again. So that's all I got for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned a little bit, maybe. Hopefully you found it valuable. If you did, you know, share with a friend, hit the subscribe button, like, comment, say what's up. 
And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace out.